All right, what's up, Yens guys? I'm gonna do a video real quick, and this I'm gonna talk about how uh, the uh, religious fanatics and the atheists fanatics both on YouTube, and they think that they're gonna have some kind of major impact in the world and impose one thing or another on somebody else. That both sides think that they, if they do away with the other side, then the world is all gonna be paradise, and that's far from the truth and um, and don't get me wrong on YouTube and out in the world I uh, have resent everybody and the whole way around and think they're a big joke and at the same time I have friends among everybody on YouTube and out there in the world uh, that uh, all races all beliefs and non all non beliefs because I get along best with a little bit of everybody that has a unique personality and you know you kind of click with that have particular types of resentments and unique uh, things that you like and dislike you know about you know something about the personality that uh, you know some people don't act like the way they're supposed to according to who they are according to their stereotype they have to have a unique personality and that's why some of us get along with best with uh, people with a more unique personality that uh, does not conform to any particular uh, behavior platform that somebody else wants to impose on everybody else and create one belief or one behavior like it's going to uh, solve the problems in the world and it ain't um, and like some of these people like on YouTube you know whether it's the uh, uh, really Christian fanatics that don't like the atheists and atheists don't like the fanatics and both of them are trying to eradicate the other but what both sides have in common I think the uh, reason why I think they're a joke most of them are a joke except for maybe a few people here and there you get along with um, what they have in common I think is both sides are very easy to badmouth. Like, for example, if I knew either one of them out there in the world and we talked face and face, um, I don't give a shit which side you are. Um, say, if we don't get along, I think you both, both of you kind of people have in common is that I can badmouth either of you to your face and you're not going to do shit to me about it you know what I mean and but at the same time I understand why all you are the way you are you know I mean because a lot the reason why some of us get along is because we have similar resentments and we deal with them slightly different ways or similar ways you know I mean but the reason why we some of us are some of us understand each other because we know some of us the way the reason why we are what we are is because um we realize that ever since we were young ever since we uh come out of the womb so to speak you know we had things dictated to us by other people in one form or another you know and uh whether it's by threat of some kind of physical force or punishment or harassment or or the classic you know um when we were younger, you're threatened with uh, that uh, rhetoric of you need to see a psychiatrist if bullshit, you know what I mean? That if you act this way or you refuse to act this way or uh, you, I remember a lot of us as a kid uh, that, you know, the older people would, uh, it would be a classic thing to threaten you with the psychiatrist. You need a psychiatrist for this if you don't do this or if you do this or don't do this or whatever the hell. And and like I said in videos before that before Dixmont actually closed up, you know, which is about 20 miles from me, the building ain't even there now, it wasn't uncommon if you were in a really strict, say, Catholic family or a uh, Christian family or even a secular family that people that if you were um, younger and you did not behave a certain way or you badmouthed anybody a certain way or 
or you wouldn't cringe to your owners and you weren't totally obedient to your owners some young people were actually thrown in places like you know when the states were paying for it like uh, places like Dixmon or these I mean the YouTube channel Psyche Truth uh, talks about a lot of that stuff did you know when even when states were paying for it you know well, they're doing it a different way now trying to get people to willingly go on psychotropic drugs to be docile and submissive and get them addicted to that stuff you know what I mean but um, yeah there was yeah when you were young you could be uh, you can be watching this video right now you could have been you can still be kind of Christian and you want to do things that's right or you can be sick of religion maybe you're not committed to the so-called atheist mob that ha that claims to have all the answers to the Christian mob or whatever but when it comes down to it um, I understand there's a lot of different groups that were more free to badmouth now you know we all had the same problem of uh, yeah you were th you can back when back in the day you can be thrown right into some institution and they give you shock treatment and that the uh, that uh, electroshock shit uh, burns people's brains out, and then you'd be one of them. The reason why them crazy people made these faces and all this stuff is they were given these medications, and you figure the shock treatment, you know, just messed the brain up and stuff, you know. And they were normal when they went in there, but a lot of them people were put into them places, yeah, because you weren't obedient to your owners and you were threatened with that or whatever too. I mean, in the other generations, so you can be an atheist or even a Christian watching and understand that, you know, and and it, whoever you watch and um, that does not condone things like that and realize that that should go on, I don't give a shit who you are. Um, if you understand that, you're all right with me, you know what I mean? But um, I'm just trying to make a statement that a lot of the people on YouTube, their arrogance you're very easy to badmouth, and I think that no matter who we are, I mean, we have a respect for a freedom we have that we can badmouth certain people. And I don't care if you're watching whether you like me or not. Um, what we all, whether you like me or not, or any of you like me or not, what you and me have in common is that um, maybe the only thing we really have to actually fear is some of them big guys whether they're black or white with tattoos and that can really hurt you the ones that Henry Rollins said in his ev in his uh, CD called everything uh, the ones that separate their cells from everybody else that the fact that they'll kill you and the only thing that they have to fear is doing time in prison and you know prisons full of them yeah like even me even the stuff that I project in my videos that yeah, there's people that, uh, some of you, uh, you know-it-alls that, um, I told you that I don't really gotta give a shit about if you don't like me or not, I can badmouth you to your face. The only re thing I have to fear is some of them really rough individuals out there, just like you. That's what you and me have in common, that, um... So that's the only thing I can figure, some of you ones that don't like me at all, that's what we have in common. Did, um, yeah, we got, got those kind of people that we uh, just can talk under our breath and don't dare uh, say anything against or go out of our way to piss off, you know what I mean? But some of you that don't like me, I don't give a shit because I can badmouth you. I, I realize that, and that there's ones out there that will really hurt you, and unlike them... I can badmouth some of you and nothing is going to happen. That's why I don't have to give a shit about you. That's just it, you know. But on some of us that get along with each other, you know, um, we have our likes and our dislikes and and we have some things that make sense that we'd like to see in a better world. You know what I mean? Um, I'm not condoning people to be overly violent either, but there's this thing too that if you're too uh, submissive or go along with anything I don't care if you're an atheist or a Christian if you go along with any particular thing to get friends that you have uh, 
a tendency that people can walk right all over you you know and people like you can have one res join one group because you resent another and then you can be uh, trapped in a thing where you're sitting there taking somebody else's shit because then you won't have no friends and then where are you gonna go you know what I mean uh, what do you do when whatever you join uh, you gotta sit there and take people's shit you know and uh, uh, or be threatened with in, in uh, it's subtly suggested you'd be you'd be threatened with being ostracized or an outcast if you don't uh, act any kind of way that somebody dictates to you. You know what I mean? Or we shouldn't live in a world where we have to uh, be walking on eggshells or worry about every single uh, thing that we can say or think or act or whatever the hell. You know what I mean? Um, and I think that any kind of a strict platform, whether it's the atheist thing or the um, religious fanatical thing, that's what basically you're uh, creating, uh, rebelling against one moral platform and imposing another, which has uh, uh, rules that if you dare violate, you either have, oh, you either, you probably have the police state uh, throw you in some kind of um, institution or jail, you know, or I think both sides are a little bit more leaning towards worshipping of the police state, which they would like to custom tailor and um, just, um, what do you call it, get rid of or arrest anybody that doesn't behave like them. But like, ah, uh, that one person uh, made that comment to me about atheists in, atheists in my country trying to tell me uh, the correct, uh, correcting me about atheists in my country. And when she says atheists in my country, uh, she thinks, evidently, she, they think that they're, um, they're not even in my country and they think they know all about and they're trying to correct me. Uh, no, 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 that's not it. It's more like, uh, what some of you are trying to do, you know, resist tyranny and, you know, uh, advocate freedom, which, uh, yes, I do believe in, you know, I know what some, some of you are trying to do, but you're not going to totally achieve it with one platform the way you have it. It's just impossible. That's all I'm saying. And, um... I think that's about it. Uh, Twelve minutes in this video. Um, s um, see you next time.